Hey, what's up? Brother Baston here. So today's tutorial is going to be the continuation of the first two episodes called uh, Guidelines for the Human Body and Adding Muscle to Your Guidelines. And if you haven't seen those, you should definitely watch them because in this third one, we're going to be talking about ways to stylize the proportions of your characters. Uh, because if you're drawing a lot of different characters and they all have the exact same body, uh, things can get pretty boring. But if you actually follow all of the rules, like all of the, um, the pointers that I've mentioned in the past two videos, you can take any of those basic building blocks and you can change their size, like you can make them wider, taller, uh, like thicker. You can like exaggerate their dimensions and you should still get a, um, like a coherent sort of humanoid shape in the end. And uh, to me, that is really the point of learning anatomy and proportions. It's to be able to take those basic building blocks, uh, like uh, knowing how they connect, and then play with them to uh, sort of create your own style. Okay, so before we start talking about stylized proportions and how to uh, stretch and twist all of these building blocks to create stylized um, body types, where we need to talk about uh, fat distribution on the body. So the way that I try to simplify it for myself, if I'm trying to think like how, what's the difference between fat deposits on the body between males and females, I try to think of it this way. For males, it tends to be deposited mostly in the front of the body, which means that they will sort of grow in size, uh, like forward, uh, if that makes sense, like in, the, in, in this direction. Like the, the sort of expansion of the body will happen uh, forward. Whereas with females, the expansion of the body and the fat deposits tend to be mostly on the sides of the body, which, mean that, which means that they will grow in size, uh, like laterally, if that makes sense. So it's almost like females tend to get wider, but males tend to get, uh, I don't know, like uh, girthier, I guess. I don't know how to put it. But that's, it's going to make sense when I, when I start drawing the, uh, the fat on these characters. So I've talked about this line here before a lot, this uh, lower line of the ribs that I use as a uh, building block for my, uh, my torso. Uh, I've said that I use it for many things to find the, uh, from this point I, I find the, the line of symmetry, from, from these points I can find this shape, like this whole abdominal wall shape here. Um, I use it to place the uh, the lower um, abs as well, the upper abs, sorry. And the, the last thing that uh, I use it for is for uh, fat, for male characters sp specifically. So since uh, the, the fat tends to be deposited here in the front, where like the sort of beer belly kind of thing around the, the belly, the uh, abdomen, I try to use this line, this curve of the lower ribs, as the point where I'm going to pull that belly out of. So I'll start from there, from, from, from this uh, curve, from, this, from that line of ribs. And the first thing that you need to remember when drawing uh, thicker, heavier males is that the, the belly will tend to overlap over the crotch uh, area over the pelvic area. So that's the, the first thing. I, I pull the uh, the front of the belly out of this line of ribs. For the back, um, the, the common rule, for me at least, the way that I think about it when I'm adding fat, is that all of these angles, and we'll see we'll see this same thing on the, the legs and the, even the neck, like all of these angles are going to be very much attenuated, like they're almost going to disappear, depending on the on how much fat there is on the body. But if you have a belly this big, this this uh, angle back here would also kind of be more curved out. You would have a little bit of uh, fat here. You can still have some uh, some uh, lats, like the the lats of the muscles here, um, and then. I tried to use, uh, in the previous video, we talked about the, the um, um, what are they called? The obliques, the oblique muscles, like the, the, the muscles that sort of wrap around the sides here. You can sort of follow the lower line of the obliques here, the one that sort of curves around the, the this bit, and use that as a guide for where the... Uh, the fat deposit sort of ends, and usually, uh, last time we saw that on a uh, on a muscular person, muscular male, you tend to have this little bit of bulge here on the sides where the obliques sort of bulge out, and they create this 
V shape here around the, the lower abs. Well, you can sort of do the same thing here with the fat deposit, this, this bulge, but instead of being a muscle bulge, it's going to be a little, like little fat bulge there. So you can sort of imagine with these different bulges, so this thing in the back, this little thing over the obliques, and this big thing in the front, the belly, with these elements, by curving them around and making them into one big volume, you can sort of create that big, uh, basically the, the, the beer belly type of belly. If you really want to simplify uh, like fat deposits on, on male characters, it's mostly around here. Obviously there are going to be some other things happening, uh, the more fat there is. Uh, like for example, the uh, instead of the, the breasts, the, uh, the pectoral muscles being like sort of more tense like this, they're going to droop a little bit more and you can add some uh, more curves to them instead of making them really uh, really uh, tense and like angular like that. Okay, so for example, let's take the, um, the, the case of the legs here. The way that, I, and, and in general the limbs, I, I left out the arms because the arms, uh, I tend to use different um, building blocks, like different guidelines for the arms if, if I know that I'm going to be drawing a, um, a heavier character. And the instead of dividing the limbs into, like for example the legs, I would divide them into two V shapes, like this. I would think of them as like one V shape instead. Like I would sort of smooth out like all of these angles, these sharp uh, angles that that uh, appear between the muscles. If you use like um, more smoothed out uh, guidelines like these, suddenly it becomes much more easier to make it seem like this is a thicker, heavier character. Uh, because all of those, like th these kind of angles, these things here on the on the legs and stuff, they they are basically a form of muscle definition, and muscle definition just tends to well basically disappear with heavier characters. Not all of it, and and not in a similar way in the males and females, but still just by smoothing out those angles, you can sort of. Um, find a more uh, more heavier look for the legs as well. Okay, and then for the arms, <clears throat> we're going to use the same method that we did for the legs. So instead of dividing the arms into like two V shapes like this, so th th that would be our regular guidelines for the arms, like V-shape here and the V-shape here. We're just going to use one bigger V-shape instead, and, and then sort of try, try to find a little bit of muscle definition in that bigger V-shape. So for example, we could do something like this. So it's a much smoother shape, and then from there try to find a little bit of a shoulder muscle there. Let's overlap here with our pectoral muscle. And then we can do the same thing on the other side. So extend the shoulder a little bit, use our big V shape <clears throat> for the arm instead of uh, Instead of the two V shape, here we, we're trying to find the wrist here, thickening the, the whole shape to find the wrist. Okay, there we go, some, uh, some smoother arms here, uh, with just a little, little touches of, uh, of like these little lines of overlap, where the, uh, the upper arm, the biceps, would sort of overlap over the the forearm. I think we could make these uh, these pecs sag even more. Like they seem, considering the um, the the amount of fat that we've added here, like they seem kind of high. I think they would 
droop a little bit more in this case and then the last big thing to to change here is the neck like you can see the the whole body looks kind of thick it looks kind of uh, heavier but in the neck you still have this very sharp angle where the the trap meets the uh, the, the neck muscles here and we need to get rid of that but the thing with necks, and we will talk about this a lot more uh, when we do a tutorial on, on faces, but uh, on heads. But the like making a head, like a face, look fat actually has a lot more to do with making the jawline disappear than making the neck super fat. So what I mean is that you you could erase this and make it sort of make the neck bulge out a little more like this and make these these uh, the way it connects to the shoulder line a bit softer but it's not going to make the character look fat if you if you have this super defined jawline here and what you need to do is make that disappear so instead of uh, focusing on the neck we just take the jawline remove that and the the only part of the uh, the jawline that tends to uh, that tends to protrude from the face in, in, in with a with a fat neck is the the the, um, the chin here. So just by adding the chin and sort of making the neck the neck lines a little bit softer, you get a more natural heavier thicker neck look compared to this one where you have the thin neck overlapping with the traps and the very defined uh, jawline you can see the you can compare the difference between the two heads here just by defining the uh, the the chin it kind of uh, it kind of it, it still defines where the, the the head is where like the structure of the jaw and the, the structure of the head but uh, it makes it seem like the rest of the jawline is kind of lost in the in the fat. Okay, so next let's talk about the uh, female figure here. So like I said, the um, the the male figure sort of grows uh, bigger in the front and forward. The female figure, most of the 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 fat is going to be deposited. I mean, it varies between people. Uh, everyone is not the same. I'm talking about like a general kind of thing. If you just want to generalize everything and, and simplify things and, and make it easier for yourself, the easiest way to do it is to add the fat around the the hips and specifically the thighs. So if we just expand the thighs a little bit if we uh, same thing as with the, the male character instead of having these very defined uh, muscle overlaps if we try to just smooth those out a little bit um, females tend to have more of that uh, the the fat deposit around the the legs than males uh, even the even the the lower like the the shin calf sort of area so let's smooth out these curves here smooth out even like this very subtle curve of the inside of the the calf you can sort of smooth that out we're, we're keeping the uh the reference point of the uh, the kneecap here because we don't want to to lose that The, uh, the fat around the, uh, the abdominal area, like the belly, uh, tends to be much less pronounced than with males, um, in the sense that there tends to be much less of, of an overhang over the, uh, the crotch area, but you can still kind of show some, some uh, extra volume there by maybe doing something like this, like a, just a, a very subtle curve curving back into the the abdominal area there and then on the inside here obviously all of these very sharp angles are going to be uh, much more uh, attenuated you can also add the uh, the same type of extra bump that we added for the males here like this bump um, around the obliques you can do the same kind of thing uh, on females as well uh, to sort of attenuate these sharp angles where the where the legs meet the uh, the legs meet the pelvis and where the pelvis sort of transitions into the 
the upper torso. So I'm, I'm starting to sort of erase all of my guidelines here, but I'd like to keep them visible so that you can see exactly what kind of changes we've made and that the, the, the guidelines, the construction blocks that we, we've used still apply even, even though we've changed the, uh, the, uh, the body type of the character. And then for the arms, uh, again, I'll just use the same method here. Instead of using the, the two V shapes, I'm going to use just one big V shape. Um, I don't know what kind of pose we want for this arm. Maybe she's reaching for something like this. I don't know what this pose is, but it's just one big V shape. And um, for females, the the there is some fat deposit on the arm, especially on the on the upper arm. Like the the upper arm tends to be much thicker. And we can do the same thing that we did here for the arms, uh, trying to find a like a really minimal amount of. Uh, muscle definition like for the shoulder a little bump there we're, we're starting to draw the the overlap of the pectoral muscles here like the way this thing transitions into the uh, armpit there like we said in the previous video the most important part about linking the arms to the torso is not the actual arm or the shoulder it's this overlap here with the pectoral muscles so i don't think we could we even need to really add much more muscle definition on this arm maybe that's enough and let's do the same thing on this side And then the last thing, uh, the last point where the uh, the fat would get deposited in the female body is obviously the breasts. So um, I, I personally, I don't have, I don't really have any uh, like st strategy when I'm making uh, breasts bigger. I just uh, take the same shape that they would have uh, on the uh, on a more athletic body type, but I, I just. Uh, Sort of expand the size one good thing to um to keep in mind when drawing breasts that i've picked up from some other video i wish i could remember where i, I saw this but it was a, a someone giving advice about anatomy and they said that uh, they like to link the breasts like the construction lines that they use for breasts are this sort of inverted heart shape and they link uh like they draw these sort of guidelines from the breasts all the way to this point here which is like the point between the uh, uh, between the collar bones kind of and uh, I, I've always found that to be very useful it gives this much more uh, much more natural uh, curvature um, to the breasts if you sort of try to find like this kind of inverted harp sh heart shaped heart shape like this whole thing here uh, so i find that for me that works really well uh, it is a very uh, unique way to think about breasts but uh, yeah finding this point here between the collarbones to sort of uh, make it seem like uh, like like they are basically like uh, like two bags attached to this point here in between the uh, in between the collarbones Okay, so what I want to do now is to show you that if you take all of the rules that we've talked about in the two previous tutorials, and if you use all of the, the building blocks uh, that we've used and all of the, the kind of construction uh, methods that we've used, you can really stretch and exaggerate and stylize all of those things, those building blocks to extreme proportions, and it will still work if you, if you obey those rules. So uh, the way that I like to think about uh, like stylized proportions, a good way to think about it is in terms of silhouette. And um, you can sort of simplify silhouettes into big uh, like geometrical shapes. I think that's a good way to approach it. So for example, let's say that we want to draw a character that would be, uh, if we simplified the character's silhouette, it would be pretty much a square. Or like a very well I guess yeah let's just go for like a square 
like this kind of shape and uh, we can uh, i'll try to show you that we can take this shape if we think of this as the silhouette of a character and the the, the more simple the the geometrical shapes that you use when you're trying to uh, think of the silhouette of a character, the, the more recognizable that silhouette and that character is going to be in the end, because the the, the their their overall shape will be so uh, so simple. So I, I want to take all of those building blocks that we've been using and basically fit them into this uh, into uh, into this shape, make a character shaped like this. Um, so let's just take it from the start, like we always do. We start with the, um, well, in this case, I think it's such an extreme kind of shape that I would probably start with the, the shoulder line. As always, we start either with the, sh with the head or the shoulder line. In this case, let's do like a shoulder line that is just an extreme kind of width. And uh, we know that from there, let's leave a little bit of room for the, uh, the arms, I guess, on the side here. And from there, we'll take our usual building blocks, our building block for the, the torso, and apply that here. And at this point, you're thinking, well, this torso is taking like 50% like of the entire space of this whole thing. How is this going to work? Actually, we, we could even make it even more extreme than this then we'll go with our building block for the pelvis down here our three circles and you can see what i'm doing is just um, i'm using the exact same building blocks that i've that i've always been using but I'm just stretching them and 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 like fitting them to this uh, to this outline to this square outline. And for the legs, again, uh, I'm just going to use the the same sort of V shapes. So in this case, it will be a V like this for the uh, thigh. Let's do the same thing on this side. V shape for the thigh and then another V shape here for the calf. Our little arrow shape for the foot. Another arrow shape to indicate the foot on that side. Quick construction lines for the feet and then we can do the same V shapes that we always use for the arms V shape here V shape here I'm trying to do this really really uh, really quickly Okay, so that's our, all of our building blocks, and this looks really weird for now, I know, but uh, let me just uh, take a moment to uh, polish this, and then uh, we'll see if I can make this look like a, a decent looking uh, character, even with the, these insane uh, proportions. Okay, so this is obviously a, a very extreme example of stylized proportions, but that's what I wanted to use this for, um, to, to show that you can use, if you just apply the rules, if you just apply the building blocks, the method, uh, the same method for everything, uh, you can stretch and you can bend those, um, those things as far as you want, and you'll still get a, uh, well, this is definitely a, a weird looking character, but it could be a style, it could be something that you could want to develop. Um, and it's built with that same method, like the, 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 the dominoes falling that I was talking about uh, 
in previous videos like finding the shoulder line uh, you can find the the shoulder muscle being treated as like one block with the pectoral muscles you can see that i found uh, the uh, color bones here by searching for the tips of the shoulder shoulder muscles i used the bottom of the rib cage that line to find these two abdominal muscles and then i used that to define my uh, abdominal wall here and that uh, gives me the placement of all of the the rest of the abs i use the the this this little curve here and the line here and here to find the lats and from under the lats i'm pulling these uh, these little bumpy muscles that we also talked about for the limbs i used the exact same um, curved uh, v shapes that i used before but instead here in this case the v shapes were just really like you can still even see them here like the the, the w or m shaped lines of overlap that i've always been talking about where you see the muscles interlock and overlap you can find them everywhere they're all over here the overlap of the pectoral muscle from with the biceps uh, anchoring the arms into the torso same lines of overlap and interlock in the legs uh, i added just a little bit of muscle definition in, in the thighs i don't think we've talked about that but that's not super important but the legs again they are just the same v shapes as before but instead of using the long v shapes i'm just distorting them and turning them into like shorter v shapes but i'm still drawing the same uh, reference points here and here for the kneecaps and from behind the kneecaps you can see these lines here from behind the kneecaps i'm pulling the first lines that will define the calves and so on and so forth it's exactly the same method with just the, those two first videos that, that i um, that i made before about guidelines about the construction lines the building blocks and then about uh fleshing out your building blocks and your construction lines uh you can then uh, have fun and uh, stretch out and like modify the proportions of those building blocks as much as you'd like so now let's try to uh, take another shape another sort of silhouette a more triangular shape as a, a general guideline for the silhouette of our character and we're going to try to again fit our building blocks and like stretch them and twist them to fit them into this kind of general shape so um and maybe we'll also try to use some of the um the fat distribution stuff that we talked about earlier in this video so i think that that actually would fit th this kind of shape perfectly like we could have like a really large uh, belly type of character shorter uh, legs and then a, um, a taller like maybe a tall neck or we can also use the uh, the traps like these muscles here to exaggerate the, their angles and bring them into a, uh, a head that's uh, much taller than, than this thing here like you can see in, in this square version the uh, the little triangles like these traps triangles that we used in our regular uh, human proportions are completely distorted and stretched to the sides so uh, it's not just the, the the building blocks that you have to stretch but obviously like all of the muscles that go on top of those building blocks as well so uh, that's the the main things that I'm, I'm thinking about in this case like trying to find a, a way to make the uh, the the hips at the bottom of the the body really large the belly and then try to uh, slump over like hunch hunch over the the, the shoulders somehow to uh, to fit everything into this uh, this kind of shape okay so here we go the process is exactly the same with this one except that instead of trying to uh, widen things i'm trying to sort of elongate them 
but the uh, the building blocks are the same the method is the same it's the same uh, dominoes falling starting from the uh, shoulder line and head and the, the the torso building block and then from there finding all these reference points the overlaps of the different muscles uh, trying to apply the uh, the whole fat distribution thing that we talked about earlier so for example the neck here i completely smoothed it out and just emphasized the uh, chin so it makes it seem like the the whole neck area is a little bit more um, more there's a bit more fat there and same thing with the belly the overlap over the 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 pelvic building block uh, the little bumps here where the uh, where the um, the the fat bulges out in the back uh what else the uh the the proportions of the v shapes for the um, the limbs are also kind of uh, different in this case i used the uh much bigger v shapes for the forearms so that you can stretch that a lot as well you don't have to um, use the exact proportions of the human body let me just add some ears here i noticed that this guy had some ears you don't have to use the exact proportions uh, of the like the regular proportions of uh, a human body all the time well obviously this guy here this is bordering on on an alien look this doesn't really look human anymore but that was kind of the point it was to try to exaggerate the uh, the stretchiness and the, the bendiness of all of these building blocks to the point where uh, well it looks like a humanoid uh, you can recognize the muscle structure and all of that kind of stuff but uh, obviously the especially the arms like just stretching the forearms that much it kind of takes away the the, the regular human proportions from it uh, also i used the um, the same method of like one v shape that we talked about uh, earlier for the legs and I tried to keep this line here intact so we can really see the, where the, the shape is coming from and where it's going. And it's uh, ending here at the, uh, at the ankle. And same thing here in this case. So you can see just from these two V shapes, you already get very much the... Like you can really simplify legs a lot. Like I could do the same thing here with this one like uh, just one v shape into one uh, like arrow here to to show where the leg is pointing uh let's say that we we change the position of this leg and bring it inward a little bit more we could do another v shape that kind of looks like this on this side and have another arrow here pointing where this leg is going and then we just have to build the uh, the the foot from there but uh yeah sometimes the the uh using one v-shape one curved v-shape instead of two of them makes it easier and like i was saying earlier in the video that applies particularly to uh heavier characters where the muscle definition is sort of attenuated but yeah that's pretty much it and as always if you have any questions any thoughts any feedback on any of this stuff uh, you can leave that in the comments below and i'll try to answer everything uh, if you want to see more art, there's a bunch of links in the description, uh, Instagram, Twitter, ArtStation, and so on. We also have a Discord that is also linked in the description below. Uh, if you're interested in discussing some art-related stuff with us, or uh, if you need feedback, or if you want to give feedback to other people, uh, you can join us there. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. If you would like to support this channel and help me make more videos, check out this Patreon link on screen right now or in the description below where you can get all of my PSD files as well as real-time versions of all my videos.